Virtual reality is making its way into people's homes this year, and that's thanks to the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. Both headsets are available this spring, and they're being sold at a similar price. So which headset's right for you? That's what we're here to find out. For our first test, we're going to be seeing which of the two headsets is easier to set up. Mario is going to be working on the Oculus Rift. I'll be working on the HTC Vive. You see just how complicated each process is. <laughs> I'm noticing that there are a lot of these power adapters, and uh, I'm starting to worry a little bit about whether this will be as easy as I originally thought. Mike, it was. do you know how many power adapters come with the Oculus Rift? Uh, how many? Zero. My advice to anyone setting this up themselves is to clear these out of the way. Setting up Vive takes 28 minutes. All right, so on the bridge, there's a side that says PC and there's a side that says VR. They have the, the same female ports on both sides. So I actually, I you mixed it up. I mixed it up. Now I'm doing this fancy setup process where the sensor is attempting to find the rift. Welcome to VR. I am here. We've had a lot of trouble uh, clearing out enough space for the HTC Vive, but we want the most immersive experience, so we're determined to make this work. <laughs> we've just moved back the table, we've moved the chairs out of the way. All right. Yeah, let's just go with it. Let's go with it. Put on your headset and headphones now. All right, I'm going. Yeah. Peace. It's been, I don't even know how long, like. Too long. Too long, and the Oculus Rift was a breeze. It really didn't take very long to set up at all. Everything just plugged in pretty intuitively. I didn't really need any of the setup instructions that it had. It took much longer for me. I think um, we hit an obstacle um, almost every step of the way. So when it came to the base stations, the wireless controllers, and even the headset. That being said, once everything was set up, the payoff was totally worth it. For our second test, we'll be checking the positional tracking of the HTC Vive versus that of the Oculus Rift. I'm currently battling some bad guys, and I am failing miserably. And I'm also feeling a little discomfort, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this world is huge, and you can fly in literally every direction, so I'm gonna stop barrel rolling, because that actually hurt my head a little bit. There is Definitely no lag. I, in fact, I'm amazed at how quickly some of these graphics appear. My brain is having some, some issues uh, making sense of this, and uh, when I start to spin, it really it, it messes me up a little bit. So it's passing with flying colors. Let's move on to the Oculus Rift. So right off the bat, it's a little more clear, I think. It's just a lot easier to see around my cockpit, and I think I can see in better detail. Now I'm going to start chasing around some bad guys. And one of them is really fast. Oh, I'm accelerating. Oh boy, I am shooting and I'm spinning. And there's still really no signs of stuttering. And also there's really cool animations that are going off when I turn my head in either direction here in the cockpit. It's, it's processing things very quickly and I'm doing somersaults right now and firing. So I think the Oculus has passed this test with flying colors too. I think just an overall comfort and display capacity, I think that the Oculus Rift is winning. For our last test, we're gonna find out which headset is sexier by showing two photos to a known expert. So which one is sexier? Number two. These are the most advanced virtual reality headsets you can buy, so you can't go wrong with either one. The HTC Vive is particularly good at tracking your movement around the room and letting you interact with the virtual world. The Oculus Rift is way easier to set up, and you happen to look really sexy when you're wearing it. <laughs>